Good morning. Uh -oh. uh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, it's an honor to be with you here today. Um, I'm nervous, even though I do this all the time. Um, so bear with me on that. First of all, let me say that I really appreciate receiving this award, but the award really doesn't go to me. Um, because as it was said before, it, it's not about me and it takes more than me. Um, it took more than me to pass net neutrality rules that would actually protect the internet. And it, what it took was a national coalition. Magnet, the Media Action Grassroots Network, was a part of that coalition, but the coalition was far greater than us as well. It included internet companies, it included policy wonks, it included technologists, and some of the people who helped win that are here today, and I'd like to ask them to stand up. This brother right here who's videotaping me, his name is Steven Renderos. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Critically important in that fight, organizing state to state, community to community, to make sure that everyday people who would, you would not normally see in front of this podium today actually have a voice in that process. So it's an honor. Also, I want to recognize Helen Bruner of the Media Democracy Fund, who is not here today, but actually um, seeded quite a bit of the uh, work that happened over the course of the years uh, fighting for net neutrality. So the Media Democracy Fund is a shining example of what I think foundations and philanthropy can do to seed social movements, and they won. And I appreciate them as well. So on behalf of what we like to call Team Media Justice and the National Media Action Grassroots Network, I thank you. Last year, as it was said before, a very small movement went up against some of the wealthiest and most powerful companies in the world, and we won. Despite the billions of dollars spent by the telecom industry in DC to defeat us and to defeat the cause of an open internet, despite opposition from elite civil rights insiders with financial ties to the industry, Despite the GOP, on February 27, 2014, the Federal Communications Commission passed the strongest network neutrality rules to date. Yeah. For too long, civil rights and free speech have been considered separate issues. For too long, telecom companies have bought their right to put a ceiling on our, but their ability to put a ceiling on our civil rights, but no more. I like to think that on that day, the day that those rules were passed, I carried forward my mother's legacy. My mom was a member of the Black Panther Party in New York City. She ran the party's breakfast program and was editor of their national newspaper. But she was also my first teacher. I sat on my mother's shoulders at rallies for undocumented migrants, queer youth rights, women's reproductive freedom, and I sit on her shoulders today. It is in honor of my mother who died in 2005, and on behalf of the more than 175 organizations of the Media Action Grassroots Network that I gratefully accept this award. My mom taught me that knowledge is not power, contrary to many people's opinion. What she told me is that only power is power. But knowledge is power's prerequisite. It is power's driver. As such, an open, affordable, and democratic internet is a requisite driver for powerful social justice movements and for democracy. The grassroots organizations of the Media Action Grassroots Network knew that. I'm talking about the Media Mobilizing Project, Media Alliance, Ella Baker Center, the Media Literacy Project, Generation Justice, and so on. They use the open internet to pressure the FCC, Congress, and the civil rights community to stand against attempts by AT&T Comcast and Verizon to turn the internet into a corporate playground. The women who co-founded Black Lives Matter and the protesters who sparked the movement for black lives to build a powerful national movement against anti-black policing, they also knew it. This movement has driven an alienated generation into the streets, smartphones in hand, using the open internet as civilian journalists documenting and exposing the long-held but hidden truth Black bodies are indeed brutalized and murdered by government officials at a gruesome rate. And because net neutrality was extended to wireless, we will continue to have the video to prove it. From domestic to fast food workers, 
Emerging labor leaders know about the power of the open internet and they are using it to draw hundreds of thousands of people into the street to demand fair wages and work. The demand, Fight for 15, has seen the minimum wage raised state by state by state. Activism online has been a significant part of that fight. Undocumented migrants are organizing on and offline to raise the call, not one more and show the world the weight of their bodies against buses bent on deporting their parents and detaining their children. And although it was too little, too late, executive action on immigration was a direct result of impacted people speaking for themselves. That is the power of the open internet. <laughs> These are the movements that helped to win net neutrality what Senator Al Franken called the most significant First Amendment free speech issue of the digital age, the 21st century. But that war isn't won yet. As I stand here accepting this award, cities across the country are arming local law enforcement agencies with body-worn cameras, stingray cell phone interceptors, drones, license plate readers, and other surveillance technologies that increase the scale, speed, and secrecy of policing. Across the country, millions of people who are terrified want body-worn cameras, but they do not want body-worn cameras without civil rights protections and constitutional protections that protect our privacy. Here's the truth. Right now, we live in a society, in a, in a country, where 60% of the two million incarcerated people are racial and ethnic minorities with racial disparities at every stage of the judicial process. In this context, arming police departments with unproven technology without constitutional limits and civil rights protections is not only insidious, it is not only immoral, it is illegal and it needs to stop. The denial of Fourth Amendment rights actually restricts the enforcement of First Amendment rights and so you are called to action today. The internet is, without question, the most powerful communications platform the world has ever known. But the internet can only serve democracy to the degree that it is itself democratized. Today, the right of free speech and press is hoarded by the powerful. Its lack alienates the rest of us. That is not the America I want to live in, and I don't think it's the America you want either. But it doesn't have to be that way. We launched the Center for Media Justice and the Media Action Grassroots Network to build a powerful cross-sector movement that ensures underrepresented communities a seat at the table and a voice in debates on the future of the internet. What I like to call Team Media Justice organizes racial justice strategies not only to win the right to connect, but also to secure the power to communicate for those most disadvantaged by media policies that serve the status quo because when the least of us is represented, the most of us are too. If you want more than the biases of 20th century broadcast media, more than the misrepresentation of cable news, let me hear you say yes. 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 Let me hear you say yes. yes. Like you mean it, yes. yes. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with myself, that's what I mean. <laughs> I too want to thwart invisibility untie democracy's hands and bind the hands of those who would prey on our disconnection, on our fear, on our dismay, on our disillusionment. My mom spent her short lifetime fighting for my voice so I could spend the rest of my life fighting for yours. Help me out, I wanna share with you what we say in the movement for black lives. Let me hear you say I. I. I believe. I believe. I believe that. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Come on. I believe that we will win. Try it. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Now, if you want to fight for the First Amendment, then we're going to have to do better than that. But I think we can. Thank you.